It is July 23rd, and I love, love, love this image of your weekly. It's picture-perfect reminder how phenomenally powerful Fibonacci levels are. Will Europe finally make it to 3400 level projected since 2012? I expect Euro to make it to 3400, and if 3400 is broken, Euro is heading to 3200 and all the way to 2800 area. 3400 on Euro is next. Let's keep an eye on Euro. Price spelled all of these levels since 2012. Now the important point. S&P. What did we discuss yesterday? This is what's posted on social media and on the forum. Way too late to buy without powerful bearish pullback. What has happened on S&P? Powerful bearish pullback. Completely expected and completely played out. So if you know how to trade Alpha Wave Trader Method, you had a beautiful shorting opportunity from 1979 area that absolutely essential to take advantage of. And where was the beautiful buying area? The beautiful buying area was at 1974. Currently, once again, as I spelled out, as we will review on daily charts, S&P is heading to much higher levels. 1981-1986 and this is picture perfect reminder knowledge is power you don't need my hand holding if you know the rules take advantage of the structure when rules are met very powerful conservative trades yesterday short and before market open this morning long here I ain't touching no S&P until once again it will give me a powerful push to the downside because this bullish rally is overextended and this level is not far off beautiful buying opportunity last buying opportunity was in this area way too late to buy waiting for a pullback on s and this is what i spelled out yesterday when we had taken last short closing our trade at reversal zone this is what was posted monitor for longs very bad idea too short you had a lovely long opportunity in this area and then very very powerful reversal structure on oil oil just like s p currently bullish rally is overextended waiting for a pullback especially knowing the importance of this level this is the end of the minor trend waiting for a pullback on oil and if you know where reversal zone is, you always take only reversal trades. And that's exactly the reminder. Know the levels and take the advantage of these levels when opportunity presents itself outside of trading room hours. Here is S&P. Here are all the levels spelled out for months now. Where is S&P heading next to on daily? 18, 1989, 1995, and all the way to 2000. Finally, this was absolutely horrific brick wall that S&P struggled at for over a month. S&P finally breaking this level, heading to much higher levels. And what did we just discuss a few minutes ago? Don't touch long. S&P is heading south. Marvelous. How predictable can the price be? Only if you play by the rules. So, let's take a look on oil. Extremely important level on the way on oil. If this level is broken, 103.24, where oil is struggling for the last two days, oil is heading to 105 and 105.60. This is the area we have to be extremely careful with, and that's exactly where oil is struggling. All the levels spelled out on daily since June. So again, today is extremely exciting day on oil. I expect oil to blast through this level, and let me give you projections further up on oil to the upside. So this is where the bullish rally at currently. The bullish rally expected since yesterday, on hourly is taking a major pause as we discussed with our oil traders it's a beautiful time to take a break 
I expect a pullback on oil. So we are monitoring. Will that be a temporary pullback? And oil will continue until 103.24. If you remember, 103.24 is the most powerful level we are watching on daily, spelled out by the price for over a month right now. The end of the minor trend is here. Do not ignore it when it correlates with the end of reversal zone on hourly. So excellent time to take a break on oil as oil taking a major break and very important how powerful will the selling pressure be on S&P. Is this an exception of powerful bearish trend? We'll find out shortly but it's a picture perfect reminder. No when not to buy. And that just played out at the market open this morning.